All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about the WT Ritter. Now, this is the last day of the clan event where you can get this tank for free. And if you haven't claimed it already, and you can, go ahead and claim it now because it's ending very, very soon. But yes, this is the WT Ritter. Now, this was a free tank that we could get for uh, a very long three week event where you had to grind clan missions. Uh, play in platoon, get brothers at arms, and all that sort of stuff. And if you get over 700 ignits, you can buy the tank. And if you get all 1,000, you get it for free. Now, I bought it for about 2,200 because I slacked off on my missions and barely ever got any brothers at arms or crucial contributions. But I still got it for only 2,200 gold. And for how good this tank is, that is a killer deal. Plus, you can sell this tank for 5,000 gold if you want to. So basically, this was either a free tier 9 awesome tank or 5,000 free gold. And for me, I'm probably going to play it for a little bit, you know, have it for a little while, and then probably sell it for the Christmas event and the Blitz Fair, so I can get a tank that, you know, I want more. Now, while this is a good tank, and really good and fun, there is just the regular WT, which this is just a slightly different version of. It's just using the DPM gun, basically, instead of the regular gun. So, there's not too much point, honestly, in keeping this tank, because, you know... I would honestly just play regular WT, and you can get 5,000 gold for free for selling it. But yeah, let's get into this tank. Is it actually good? Now, this tank boasts a really good gun with 460 alpha, 7.8 second reload, and an incredible pin. Now, that is very good. It is on the body of a WT, so you have zero armor, decent mobility, and very good, uh, I would say, very good turret traverse ability, I guess is what you could call it. You know, you can turn it out and get into those weird positions, get the, that side gun depression and rear gun depression where you have way more than your front. And this thing can be really strong. You can see the DPM absolutely destroys this Tiger 2 right here. We get to wreck this guy right here. The DPM on this thing is pretty amazing, actually. You can really just farm up a bunch of damage, and it is pretty awesome. And that's the really good thing about this tank. It can farm up a lot of damage. I mean, it can just pop out those shells so quickly and really farm up that damage. It is very strong. Uh, now, we, uh, this is my first game in the tank. I like to show a first game as long as it isn't too horrible. Uh, and this one's not too horrible. So as you can see, we're just pumping out the damage right here. Uh, I mean, this isn't an insane game or anything like that, but we still get to pump out the damage pretty good. We go for one more shot, which probably wasn't the best idea because it pings us down to a one shot and we get killed. But we do end up with 3,400 damage, which isn't horrible for a first game. And you can see how quickly I got that damage out right there, pumping those shells out. If I wasn't really frontlining, which I'm being very aggressive in this tank, which you probably shouldn't be because it is a WT and it has horrible armor, uh, but I can still get out a lot of damage frontlining in this tank and getting, you know, those shots off pretty darn quick with that 7.8 second reload. So yeah, this tank, I would say, is very good and definitely worth the grind. This tank was definitely 100% worth it. It's a really good tank. Plus, you get a ton of free gold right before a Christmas event, which is pretty darn awesome. So that gets to a second class, uh, as you can see here. Um, we'll get into the second game real quick before I finish talking here. And yeah, so the WT was definitely worth it. I mean, <laughs> look how many WTs are in this match. Oh my goodness, it's pretty ridiculous. But yeah, this tank was solid. It was definitely worth the grind, I would say. And yeah, let me know if you got the tank down below in the comments. I didn't think it was really too hard to get the tank because... Honestly, I didn't try very hard. I missed a lot of clan missions um, and still got the tank for like 2,000 gold and barely got any brothers at arms. So all you had to do was get basically every clan mission and that was it, which honestly isn't that hard to do if you play every day. I didn't even do that and I still got the tank for 2,000 gold. So yeah, the brothers at arms and crucial contributions were not really necessary. It's just if you wanted to get the tank earlier, I guess, or 100% for free if you didn't want to spend like a thousand gold max or anything like that, you know uh, I'm not sure if you get all 1,000 units without any brothers at arms or anything like that uh, But even just a few is pretty easy to get so yeah uh, I didn't really try to get brothers at arms at all and still managed to get a few and stuff like that uh, I didn't really platoon much, but yeah, this tank was actually fairly easy to get I would say it wasn't as hard as I thought the event was gonna be really just because you got so many ignits at the end of clan missions you got like 200 three times for every clan mission basically which is really where i got all my units from you know you get a few from the clan missions 50 from the weeklies three times so 150 right there I even missed out on one of those so i only got like 120 plus about like 10 if you get uh, 10 daily if you do the missions every day which theoretically could be another like 300 basically again i probably only did like half the days so like 150 max maybe um and i still got the, like 800 ignits so I, I got the tank for pretty darn cheap 
So yeah, it really wasn't a hard event to get at all, and it was 100% worth it, because as I have said many times, this tank is pretty dang solid. It's got a great gun, good mobility, um, and, you know, all around a pretty solid TD. Now, of course, it has zero armor, but that's just how the WT is. It doesn't need armor to be good. It's just something you have to watch out with. As you can see right there, that guy right there did not watch out and took a nice juicy HG from us. So we're absolutely wrecking this thing. We're unfortunately really not going to be able to get that much damage out this game. Um, I haven't actually gotten any huge damage games in this thing. I haven't had the opportunity to play a whole, uh, a whole lot because I was a little busy today and this is my first day with the tank. Uh, but I'll probably post some footage of me uh, with some better games just as a gameplay video. No commentary or review over that um, before I sell it or anything like that for the gold. Because I probably am going to sell this uh, tank for the gold before the Christmas event. But yeah, that is the WT Ritter, guys. Definitely worth it. Worth the grind. This is a solid tank. It's great and a whole lot of fun. Not sure why I got downvoted right there. I did like 3k damage, uh, but you know, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.